Hello, hello, how are y'all doing on this wonderful, blessed Saturday before Easter? This is dinner for this evening right here. As you see, the pork chop steaks. Yes, pork chop steaks right here. I'm getting ready to season them up. I also add my vinegar on there. The vinegar, I usually do, I do apple cider vinegar, eat the white vinegar. And the vinegar is for... You're using on pork, any pork. I use my vinegar on any pork that I use. High blood pressure, you know, use pork. You can um also use the apple cider vinegar as well. As you see, I'm pouring it on there. Use it on apple cider vinegar um, on your pork chops as well. Um, So this right here helps. It helps. Don't have no headache after you eat that pork. Or either you can put mustard on there. So I added the white vinegar on there. I did not use... Um, yeah, you see my cutting board in the background because I cut up some greens, which my greens is in the crock pot for tomorrow. Yes, and that purple onion, I cut them up in there as well for in my greens. Yes, so hey, look at that. Okay, never mind my background because I'm telling y'all that purple onion, I cutting them up for my greens and stuff. So I set this on the cutting board. So as you see, I'm going to get a little closer. So don't come at me or trying to judge me. So this right here, my cayenne pepper, spice them pork chop sticks up just a little bit. May cut that purple onion on, put it on the top of the, put it on the top of the, yeah, put some seasoning on on there with that. So this is all my seasoning right here that I will be using. I will not over season my meat. Only put enough on there because if you over season pork, it could get a little salty. Yeah, like no salty me <clears throat> i do not enjoy it at all so i'm gonna lightly season it it's not heavy season it and i'm gonna put them in the oven for 400 for at least 45 minutes and once i finish with that i made some gravy to pour over them and yeah that's how we're gonna do this thing yeah that's how we're gonna do it yeah okay as you see i have seasoned it up put them onions purple onions on the top yes i did and i'm gonna get it let it get done real nice and good on this side and i'm gonna flip it over and let the other side get crisp like this so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour a little butter on the top of it on the top of these milk that butter and put it on the top yeah i'm gonna milk the butter and put it on the top you use the choice butter of your choice that you want to put on yours but this is what i'm gonna do with mine the oven is ready so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven let them cook for at least 35 minutes 35 minutes or a little bit longer yes but i'm not gonna dry them out remember do not dry them out so you cook them how long you think that they should go in the oven but i do not like no dry dry um dry pork chops so you know these pork chop steaks i do not like a dry pork chop steak i do not like a dry steak so i'm gonna cook it and i'm gonna be checking on it because i do not want it dry out you can even cover it but i'm not gonna cover mine i'm gonna just let it cook oh i wish i had them on a the grill right about now that would have been even tastier but i didn't fix the grill up so they're going in the oven I don't know, could y'all see, but you see where I put the butter on the top of it. Now they're going in the oven. Now, they go to collard greens. Usually, I use smoked neck bones, but I did not. These are just regular neck bones that I put up in there. So, you know, not smoked, but those are my greens. I season my greens with mostly the same seasoning. I also added sugar to my greens as well, a little sugar to my greens. So, hey, there it is. And so, this is going to be... Easter dinner right here is for tomorrow because today is Saturday. So Sunday, this will be the meal going on. And I'll show y'all that then. But just giving you a sneak peek. Hey, what's going on over here? Cooking with Stephanie. Yes, like, comment, and subscribe. Share them out to your family and friends. Leave positive comments. As you see, that's my water and my milk for my mashed potatoes, butter, salt, and pepper. And I'm using instant mashed potatoes. Yes, instant mashed potatoes. Great value style. Yes. So, let me put my mashed potatoes in here and I'll be back. Those are the pork chops. I'm getting ready to flip them. I drain the juice out of them. I'll plate it up and ready to eat. See that? There go my mashed potatoes and my gravy. There go my broccoli. And there go my pork chop steak. I also 
I told y'all on the other side I was gonna bake it. That's my drawer. You're going all closed, ready. See there? Yep, I baked it on the other side like I told y'all. Just please like, comment, and subscribe. Share me out to your family and your friends. Yes, share me out to your family and your friends. And I'm going to keep on posting because I know that this channel will grow. Thank y'all so much for y'all love and support. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed Easter. Yeah, have a blessed Easter. Post some of them Easter dinners. Yes, I will be watching them. Y'all be blessed until next time because I will be posting mine. Blessings. I don't want to take a picture of the floor because that's exactly what I'm doing. Hold on. Let me get a good shot of this. Let me get a good shot of this. Let me get a good shot of this. I don't need a picture of my um my glove, my pan, hot pan. Oh, wait a minute. I always remember to build someone up and not tear them down. Just because they are mean to you, don't give them the same mean treatment back. Make a draw for noise into the Lord. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Isaiah 54 and 17 says, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. Until next time, y'all be blessed.